Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. So I have been doing a series on tax deductions that you can take in your home daycares. And so this is video three. So we are going to be talking all about toys. So raise your hand if you love to buy toys for your home daycare, your preschool, your classrooms. I am guilty. Every time I go into a store, I have to look at the toy section. My Amazon wish list is miles and miles long. I love buying toys for my home daycare. I like to theme my classrooms. I like to make fun, dramatic play centers. And so this is an area that I spend a lot of money on. As I'm sure, this is an area that you spend a lot of money on as well. And so this is a deduction that I want to really spend a lot of time on and just really show you guys how you can deduct those toys that you are purchasing for your daycares. So first, I'm gonna start with a really fun story. Um, my husband and I went on a date and how many of you, when you go on a date, you end up at Target? That is where we honestly usually end up on our dates because especially this year, uh, there's really not much places you can go. So this is what our Target dates look like. We walk in, we kind of start off where I'm in the Target dollar, a teacher spot and I'm looking and then I turn around and he's gone <laughs> and so I just finish up in the dollar spot and then you know then I'll mosey on over to the toy section and this will go on for like a good 20-30 minutes and then I'll be randomly walking by an aisle and see him and we're like hey and we're like how was your target date that's pretty much <laughs> what our target dates look like but I absolutely love them so we just went on a date the other night and I found the cutest toy, so I need to show you guys before I start telling you how you can deduct your toys. So I found this little honeycomb. Now, this is for my toddler age, and I love to find like theme toys, and so this toy, I actually have a bee week that we focus on, and like our theme is bees, and we do all kinds of fun stuff in the spring um, with bees. And so I found this toy and I am just so excited about it. It was only $12 um, and I found it at Target. It's made by Fisher Price, but it's the cutest little honeycomb. And it comes with these little pieces here that they can be dropped um, on the top and it makes noises and all kinds of fun stuff. I think my kids enjoy this. So this was a fun toy that I bought on our date night. Um, and this is what happens all the time. Whenever I go to anywhere that has toys, I always find something, but I was super excited to find this one. So that will be added to my spring toy collection. So how do I deduct my toys? So every time that I purchase a toy, just like the one I just showed you, I will highlight it on my receipt because on that particular night, um, I had bought that toy, but I had also bought some other things um, for my daycare that were more like supply uh, related, not so much um, toy related. Now, if I was gonna buy anything personal for myself, I do try to separate that um, at the register. I just find it easier. So if I'm at Target and I bought that toy, but I also bought like toothpaste and you know, like a hair gel or something like that, I would just have the cashier ring it up twice so I have my receipt that gets filed away with my daycare and then my household receipt. I just find it easier that way so I don't have to do the math on the taxes portion, but it works the other way if you just wanna have the cashier ring up everything and then when you get home, you can grab a highlighter and just highlight uh, what was daycare and file that away. And then at the end of the month when you are writing it out on your calendar keeper you can just add up what's highlighted but then don't forget about the tax because you are paying taxes on that so do the math um, you know if your taxes was three dollars and twenty cents but you have five items on there um, don't forget to take out what the tax would be for that item as well because you can deduct that as well so that's why i find it just easier just to separate um, daycare receipts from household receipts in things like Costco runs, Target runs, where I am purchasing um, stuff kind of for my household and the daycare. So I think Amazon, purchasing toys on Amazon is the easiest because you can just go to your purchases and you can get just the whole run on what you bought um, on Amazon throughout the, like the whole year. You can just print those pages and file that away in with your receipts. And on your calendar keeper, just keep a running total of how much you spent on toys. Now, if you have children, uh, your own children that are playing with this toy, with the toys, 
um, that you purchased for daycare, this is where it can get a little stickier. When my kids were the same age as my daycare kids, now I have always had a separate home daycare space, meaning that my daycare wasn't run in like my living room and it wasn't my the daycare kids never went into my kids bedroom so they always had separated daycare toys and um, their own personal toys and daycare kids did not play with their personal toys and my kids did not play with daycare toys outside of daycare hours now every home daycare looks different so if you have a home daycare that you know the daycare kids are playing in your child's bedroom or they're playing with those toys or your kids are playing with those toys after hours what i recommend is that at the end of the year when you get that running total of how much you spent on daycare toys that you time space it and then you will deduct your time space percent that you spent on those toys um, remember i have a whole video on how to get your time space percent um, you do want to do this calculation every year. Every year, your time space percent will be a little bit different. It won't be like gob different, like you're not 10% difference or anything, but you'll always be between like two to 5% difference depending on um, how many days you took off, how many hours you worked and so on. Now, if you're like me and you have a separate daycare area that your kids don't go into after daycare hours or your daycare kiddos don't play with your child's toys, um, how I did it was at the end of the year, that total on toys, I took half of it and deducted 50%. Now, years later, my youngest is nine and my oldest is 15. And so they're not in that daycare age anymore. Um, they're gonna have no interest whatsoever to play with this toy. So now I deduct 100% of my daycare toys. And so um, it's just a way to kind of like keep yourself safe if you do get an audit that they can't come in and be like um, you can't deduct all these toys your kids are playing with them so keep those things in mind that's how I did it another thing that I did when my kids were in that age is that I kept all the receipts from you know their birthday present their Christmas present anytime they got a toy out in during the year um, I kept those receipts also I didn't separate them into different bags. I basically just had one bag, just said household receipts, and I would just stuff it in there. So just to show if I did get audited that we are purchasing toys for our kids that are not being deducted whatsoever on my daycare taxes because those are their personal toys. So I hope that makes sense. Toys get a little bit stickier when you have kids your own age. You just can't deduct you know, every toy that you purchase that bring into your home if your kids are playing with them as well. So I hope I made that clear. Um, if not, comment below. I'd be happy to answer any other questions that you guys have about that. And the last thing I wanna go over is the toys that you buy at garage sales, Facebook Marketplace, things that you don't get like a printed receipt for. What I do is I just have a cheap uh, receipt book that I bought from Walmart. Um, I've had the same one for 14 years and it still has plenty of pages left on it. Anytime I go to a garage sale and buy a toy for my daycare, I write myself a receipt um, and file it away and use it just like I would have any other receipt that if I bought something at Target, Walmart, Amazon, anything like that, this is my receipt. Same thing if I buy anything on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and then, you know, I just write out how I do it is um, if it's a garage sale, I'll put the date, um, and then I write the address that I bought the item for. Now, a lot of times I do subdivision sales, and so sometimes I will just write the subdivision. Um, like I'll just put like, you know, the subdivision's name, um, garage sale, you know, and write out myself out receipts and then file those away. So don't forget about that because I know as when I was, especially when I first opened and I was trying to gather stuff for my daycare, I was buying a lot at garage sales. Um, and throughout the years, I've gotten a lot on Facebook Marketplace as well. And you can deduct that just the same as if you bought something in the store. All right, guys, that's what I have for deducting toys in your home daycare. Um, any questions that you have, please comment below. I would love to get a conversation started. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.